welcome. I'm Dave Ritzko from Transtar Industries. I'm their technical product specialist. And today, just want to talk a little bit about batteries. So when a car comes in, there's certain things you really should check right off the bat. And I know I've harped about pro check the programming and that. Another very interesting thing and often overlooked is the good old battery. Now, if a battery comes in and it has a white snow mountain, you should probably clean that before you go any further in any kind of testing, a bad connection, a bad ground. Uh, if you're working on a Ford truck and you have a bad ground, you're going to eat a 5R110W pump within minutes. Again, that being said, it should have over 12 volts when you check it. If it does not, you may need a new battery. You could have a charging thing. And again, the way cars are connected anymore, a low battery can cause a lot of grief with a lot of different things and it could mimic issues. So again, always check your battery. And if you're going to charge a battery, keep in mind that all, not, all batteries are created equal. They have glass mat batteries, they have closed cells, and again, they take different types of charge. So you gotta watch if you charge a glass mat too high a voltage, you could fry the battery. Some batteries even require programming when changed to the vehicle. And you'll see that on some of your higher end imports. But one of the main reasons I wanted to talk about batteries is this push with hybrid and electrified or electric vehicles. Again, the Toyota Prius and some Honda models have been out for quite a while. They're getting to the end of their life. If they haven't had a new battery yet, they're going to be needing one. And again, it's just like an engine going bad. When the battery goes dead, car don't move. What we have here, this happens to be a battery out of a Toyota Prius. It's not that bad of a deal to change these. Now, one thing I do want to, I like kidding a lot and I joke a lot, but when you go to work on one of these for your first one, for all of them for that matter, you really, really want to be careful. Again, this one here, if you took a wrench and put it there, you're going to get a jolt. If you put a wrench between the terminals on these, you're probably going to die. And I'm not going to kid with you. Yes, these things could cause death. So again, be a little careful. It is highly recommended to use, and these are about the same gloves that Ohio Edison would use in that. They're class zero or class A, and you get a rubber glove. Now, let me give you a little word of advice. When you buy these, please buy the leather covers for them. So you could go on, it'll save your rubber gloves. If you take this rubber glove and poke a little hole in it, this glove is worthless. It is absolutely worthless. You can blow in them, you can roll up. They have testing machines. Anytime you use it, just make sure it holds air and there's no pinholes. Again, just to save you because these are not the cheapest gloves to buy. Make sure you buy the leathers and keep yourself safe, okay? Once you get into doing these. The hardest part with this, it weighs a little bit, it's bulky. The hardest part's getting to it. You have to remove certain panels. And once you figure out the way it does, they have this little lock switch. You pull up, out, this is the fuse. When you pull this out, you've basically taken the majority of the teeth out. I'm not gonna say you couldn't get hurt, but when you pop this fuse out of there, you're a whole lot safer. And then you can remove the wires and everything. These batteries have a computer in them. The batteries that Transtar sells come completely programmed. They're basically plug and play. When you go to put it in, this is one of the last things after you get it in, get it mounted. This is one of the last things you wanna do. You plug your fuse in, lock it, put your covers back on. You just changed the battery in a Prius. It is a little bit more cumbersome than changing one of these, but if you've lifted some hoods and see where they put these, this might be easier to do. So again, 
If you're not doing it, uh, why not? There's a lot of Priuses on the road. It's pretty simple money, and they're all gonna need this eventually. So again, if you're not doing them, you should. And if you're not doing them, you gotta ask yourself, why not? Again, you know, there were step transmission CVTs, now there's electric vehicles. It's what's coming, fellas, ladies and gentlemen. So get yourself accustomed to them, get you a little bit of knowledge on them. They're not that bad to do. You can find these batteries on transcend.us. You can visit our website at transstar1.com. Or as always, you can contact your sales rep and get all the info you need. I'm Dave Risco, and thanks for watching.